So first start on my quarter panel repair. Um, you can see the rest is coming through here, but it's in a line. There's a line here as well. You can see the rust coming through, but if you feel here and you can almost see it, I hope you can see it on the picture. There is a double sheet uh, up to about here. You can see also there's little weird things going on here. I think someone has patched this up before. Unfortunately, without doing it properly and without it's rust coming through, rust coming through, without cleaning the insides, as far as I've been able to see, I have um, stuck a snake cam or whatever you like to call it, a the little cam on a wire you can buy from eBay for 10 bucks. <laughs> I love that thing. I stuck it in through the watering, uh, the watering holes that are in, inside there and through when you lift the sill cover there's also round holes you can get into. So I saw already that the inner sill as well is gone to a certain extent and I, what I think they did, they also did that on the front by the way where the uh, beams were gone. They just welded a patch over everything without cleaning it up and prepping it properly. So we're doing it again and hopefully this time I am doing it properly because I don't want to do this a third time. Uh, for me the second time but not a third time on the car. Okay, well see you in the next one. So here we are a few minutes in. Um, I love the wire brush extension on my angle grinder. Be very careful when you use these. Of course you should always wear goggles and everything when you do anything with an angle grinder. But especially with this one, uh, the hairs will come out. And they won't come out, just fall out. They will jump around. And I took some out of my face. I'm wearing a, a face mask now when I do this. Not, not only for the fumes, because there's not much fumes coming out, but also very much for the flying hairs. I've also picked some out of my arms because it's very hot, so I don't have sleeves on at the moment. I don't really mind that, but if you would get one of those flying in your eye, I wish you the best of luck. Anyway, um, as predicted, they just welded over the previous, over the original sheet. They didn't even take care to make it flush. They just put a ton of bondo on. Um, they also made a lip going down, which is now double, which it shouldn't be. There is big rust holes coming through, which are, as you can see, the original is still under there. So, as in the front, I'm fear they just put a, put a plate over it, welded it shut, put a ton of. Uh, fiberglass or whatever it is, Bondo stuff over it and be done with it. Anyway, that's not how I plan to do this. Uh, you can see here that the rust is actually above where they welded it. So my bet is if I take this plate off, I will find the original plate still rusted underneath. We'll see. So, unfortunately, my predictions were correct. This is the patch they put over it. Here we have tons of rust. I think this is the original panel, or exactly, or what's left of it. There's tons of Bondo put on. There is a lot of junk. This is how people repair cars, and I'm very sorry. How on earth would anyone do something like this? Just put a huge patch over it, weld it shut, smear some body filler over it, and be done with it. Terrible. This is the way to destroy the car. Anyway, I'm going to cut it slightly bigger now. I'm not going to peel back layers anymore. I'm just going to get a full extent, a full view of what's going on.